gotta get what some of the girls don't have and just Man, I'm at Walmart standing in line for a long, long time. And when I finally get to the front, man, my car declined. So you know what I had to do? What you had to do, man? What you had to do? Put it back. That dip? Out now. I put it back. Them chips? I put it back. I would have got it all, but I had to put it back. What's up, YouTube? It's Bill Cortez back at it again with the smelly video. Yes, I did. I Bruh. I am... At my girlfriend's house, and today we are on poop cleaning duty. Yes, and I'm live from the phone cam because I left my vlog cam at the house. You know, sometimes you just you gotta make it work. You know, you gotta make it work. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna be cleaning the fairy cages, and it don't sound like an interesting video, but they might be excited to see me. Hopefully, so let's go. <laughs> First thing you gotta do is you gotta say what's up to Alonzo. Hi! Hi, buddy! Hi, buddy! Okay, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off of me. <laughs> okay. Get in. Hi. Hi. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to. Okay. Come on, get up on the bed. Come on, get up on the bed. Say hi. Say hi to the fox. Say hi to the fox. Step two is greeting the ferrets. Now, ferrets are really excited when they see their owners. And since they sleep 18 hours a day, most of the time I'm either gone or my girl is at work. But since they sleep 18 hours a day, when we are here, they wake up and they get really excited. So let's see how they how they're gonna react, okay? Hey Diachi. Hey, hey, hey. See, he's woke. Diachi is woke. Diachi is wide awake. And then Versace is down here and he's in his bed. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. So, you know, you greet them. You make sure that they know that you're in their presence. Um, let them sniff you, let them, you know, cause I don't know if they just woke up, you know? You know, look, look, he's thugging. He's thugging. You know? He just, you just be sleeping like you got a job. You just be sleeping like you got a job. <laughs> so, we greet him. Now, <sighs> it's time to get to cleaning. It's time to get to cleaning. Now, what we're going to do is, y'all saw me with the Walmart bag earlier. The first thing I do is I have to, y'all see the puppy pads down there? You gotta pick up the puppy pads because what happens is they get really excited when you let them out. And the first thing they're gonna either wanna do is either use the bathroom or play with the dog. Sometimes they get right into playing, but they are potty trained and they do know how to use the, um, the puppy pad. But Diachi don't like to get his feet wet. And Versace don't like to poop on a dirty pad that always got, that, that already has like, you know, poop and pee on it. So they're very picky and you learn this as like you go on. So I have to first pick up the pads that way they have somewhere to use the bathroom when they get out the cage. What I'm gonna do is get down here, put my hands inside of the Walmart bag as gloves and then we're just gonna roll, roll. It's like making egg rolls with poop inside. Just roll. Roll, roll, roll. And we do this like every two days. Um, most of the time every two days. Because what happens is Alonzo, he is potty trained, but he likes to doodle outside. He don't like to always doodle on the pad. So when he's using the bathroom, if he's going to pee, it's going to be on the pad. And if he got a number two, if he got a number two, if he got a number two, he'll go outside and do it. So, they all share the same pads. So we always put two pads down. And they don't mind sharing the same pad, but they just, they have their own, you know, ways. So, after we done picking up the puppy pads, like right when we finish up picking up puppy pads, what I do is I sweep this area really good. And then I mop this area really good. And we have um, special scented puppy pads. Um, so they're lavender scent. We use lavender because it smells good. Mm. 
gotta have the slipper jet on deck. You gotta have the slipper jet. Let's take a dance break. So after we done picking up the used puppy pads, we swept the floor, we mopped the floor. Now we gotta get some, uh, I'm gonna show y'all these. We use these, lavender flavored, not <laughs> eat them, but lavender scented puppy pads. So we gotta put two of these down in the same spot. And then what I'm gonna do is let the fairs out and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the inside of their cage. So, yeah. I have to clean your cage, buddy. Alonzo loves playing with Diachi. Versace, he's a little bit more aggressive. Diachi is older than Versace, so he's a little bit more he's a little bit more mature. So they're um when they play, it's harmless and they get along better. But Versace hasn't really mastered the how to play with Alonzo yet. They'll wrestle, they'll bite each other. Pretty much their best friends. I don't know why y'all want to decide to play when I have to clean up, though. Okay, so when I'm cleaning out the cage, what I do is I use the same bag that I put the used puppy pads in. Um, I will bring that bag closer to me, and then I use Clorox wipes. And we just get the um, the poop from the bottom tray, because this is where the newspaper is. We gotta switch out the newspaper, and then we're also gonna get where they milk it. Ferrets use it in corners because they're domesticated um, exotic animals. So when, where they're typically wild animals. So they use it with their back against the wall because they have to watch for predators. So when they use the bathroom, they um, use it in the corner sometimes because they might be nervous, scared, or whatever the case may be. But what they also use it on the puppy pad. So it's pretty simple because it's gonna seat down under the cage onto the puppy pad. And then we're gonna be able to pull this little drum out and then we're gonna be able to clean it really easy really simple so let's get to it all right y'all so let's start cleaning out this cage man first thing i want to do is i want to get my whites i'm going to bring all the poop towards the front of the cage and then i'm gonna just you know start scooping and dumping it in the bag right and i just got the camera posted up on this little stand right here so it's probably a terrible angle but y'all don't need to see no poop anyway that's you're weird if you want to see what it looks like Y'all want to see what it looks like? Y'all want to see what it looks like? Yeah? No? So you don't know what it looks like? Well, that's what it looks like. I, I should probably put that in slow-mo for you, but no, I'm not going to. So, the good thing about having ferrets is they're really playful. It's really easy for them to understand you after being with you for a while, of course. Um, another one. They're cute, man. They're different. You know, I like it because they laugh. They like, ur, 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 ur. that's how you know they're excited. They're like, ur, 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 ur. <laughs> they're friendly with people that they know, of course. <laughs> and they're really smart. Like Yachi and Versace, when they're tired, they'll get in the cage by themselves. They go to sleep by themselves. I can leave them out, out of the cage. They use the bathroom by themselves on the puppy pad. Um, you know, they come in here, they get their food, they get their water by themselves, and it's really just easy. And I think they've gotten used to us, which is really good because training Alonzo still kind of a hard time. He's still kind of learning, you know? Still kind of learning. So what you do is Sometimes it gets stuck in a crack. So I just push it down on into the in, in between the cage part. That way when I take the bottom tray out to clean it, it'd be it'd be that. It'd be real simple and easy. Stop it. Cut it out. Cut it out. All you do is play. All you do is play. All you do is play. Alright, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I got took I took the cage out. So all of this is poop trash. Gotta go in the bag, which is over there, unfortunately, because I'm moving fast. And we do this every two, three days. And it gets exhausting, not gonna lie to you, but it's enjoyable. You get used to it after a while. So let's finish. 
thing about fairies is they love to get in your way. Like, I'll be cleaning out their cage, and then they feel like that's the best time to eat food, drink water. Like, bro. Diachi, move. <laughs> okay, well, he's... Oh, is he gonna use it? Do you have to use it? No, he's just tired. He's just tired. So. One big ball. Pretty much. Get some of this excess poop on us. As much poop on the newspaper as possible. One big ball. One big ball. Y'all in my shot. One big ball. Done. Take the Lysol wipes. Well, I use Clorox wipes because it's easier to use. It's much, much easier to use. But, you know, Clorox wipe it off. Get the sides. Gotta get what some of the girls don't have. Gotta get the edges. And these wipes gives like a soapy. It leaves kind of a soapy appearance, if y'all can see. But that's cool, because we need soap sometimes. So. This is pretty much what I have to look forward to every two days. Cleaning the fairy cage. It's something long, but you add it to your schedule. Like I said, you get used to it. So it's cool. Again, he wants to get in the way. And you better not use it on here if you see me cleaning it. You better not use it on here if you see me cleaning it. All right, so y'all, I'm gonna finish cleaning them. I'm gonna come back to y'all. All right, and we're all clean. You see them? I will go, put, I am gonna still put some newspaper down here. I might even put a puppy pad down there just to be on the safe side. And look at him, see? Hey, hey. Knocked out. They play a lot. They do this all day long. Most of the time they do it all day long. Until Diachi decides to bite Alonzo too hard. And then he's like, Ay! get him, get him. And then you got this one right here. He likes to steal stuff. Yeah. Like dog bowls. Stop it. He doesn't like to play with um with these two that much because like I said, he they don't know how. Like Diachi knows how. Ooh, Alonzo looks scary. And I got the flash on, that's why his eyes are red. He's really cute. <laughs> okay, break number two. Oh, I'm tired, so say hi. <laughs> okay, Alonzo's right here. Everybody's right here. So this is what it's like having, you know, family members, man. I don't consider them as pets. I consider them as family. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Yay! Give me a kiss. Can I kiss? Hmm? Yeah, so he knows. They knows. Alonzo knows. And it's what it is, man. I'd much rather have, you know, like animals and stuff than kids. <laughs> but no, they keep me happy. They keep me busy. They keep me productive. And they're just cool. You know, they're, they're borderline cool. They're original. You know, I don't want to just be a bored basic person with like just a cat just a dog you know i want to explore different animals i want to get a bird i really want to get a monkey i think that'd be lit for a youtube channel i'll probably call it me and my monkey all right y'all so that's the end of the spirit cage cleaning routine i guess <laughs> make sure you smash that like button right here drop a comment right here and uh subscribe down below and yeah, man, keep supporting me. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And this ain't no vlog. This is real life. Even no ramen noodles, man, I had to put it back. Shrimp. That dip. Spinach. I put it back. Oh, nah. Them chips. Ain't free. I put it back. Hot fries, hot fries.